Hi, welcome back. And um, so I thought, having watched quite a few programs on the on YouTube, where folk have removed the cat on their Enfield Classic 50, I'd probably do the same and uh, have a cleaner look, lighter exhaust, more free flowing, not looking for more power, but a bit more natural noise, you could say. So, um, you don't need a lot of things to do this, to remove the standard silencer. It's a case of 10 and 12 mil sockets and spanners. We'll soon remove the silencer, and there it is there. And the cat is in a couple of brackets, and um, we also have that removed as well. The weight of these things is quite amazing. Um, so once I've got these off, um, the next thing is to measure the front pipe um, for its outside diameter and get some stainless pipe to uh, replace the cat. And um, 41 mil roughly was the original um, diameter I thought, however it's 45 with the gasket. So if you get rid of that gasket, it is actually a 41, which is what fits into the Indian made 50 odd pound silencer that you can buy, which I kind of run the mill silencer. So what I did here was remove the standard um, rear silencer mount and uh, bolt it on. And here you can see the 41 mil pipe inserted into the silencer. So I put that on, roughly measured it, marked it with a selfie, cut that off in the workshop and um, it was just a wee bit on the tight side to get in or over rather uh, the front pipe so um, I just cut a couple of slots in it knocked it open a bit with a flat screwdriver and as you can see rubber mallet a bit of patience you can just soon knock it on and um, Everything I've kept for the standard setup, so I'm not butchering anything at all. It'll take me five minutes to refit the standard silencer and cat if I need that for MOT. So, with the new pipe and that on, I thought it looks better, and um, the a wee bit of matte black <laughs> paint on it was fine. But I've also got some um, exhaust wrap and tape and it's quite awkward to fit but I have used it before in my previous job helping my bosses wrap rally car exhaust manifolds and the thing that this stuff does is it actually cools down exhaust systems so it makes an engine run cooler so I thought that's worth a go um, so um, yeah I fitted that and it's a wee bit sort of, you just got to have a bit of patience using it. But being fiberglass type material, you should really put some um, PVC gloves on and full length long sleeve tops because, as I've discovered, it's a really nasty <laughs> material and you know, a lot of itchy hands and arms. But there you go, that's it all fitted and it's running fine and it sounds a bit better now. So. Next time we'll be out, we'll do a bit of filming and you'll hear it, um, how it sounds now. Bye for now.